Coliseum and anyone would think that James Wade is enjoying the experience his opponent the nine dark man please welcome Sean Gray Slightly noisier than Griston in Norfolk, where Sean Greatbatch hails from. Giant of a man, but as calm as ever as he walks onto the stage. Well, two players making a big name for themselves in the world of darts. James Wade, one of the brightest young talents in the BDO game against Sean Greatbatch who hit that magical nine darter of course in the Dutch Open and staked his own place in darting history and a match that really is too tight to call John Part. Oh it's quite interesting matchup uh, James Wade looking to uh, make a big improvement over last year's outing where he looked to win and uh, managed to lose in the very early going, so he's uh, looking very happy. First leg, first leg, James to Roy first. Game on. And I expect that uh, he's going to come in very fast and strong. James Wade with his second appearance to the Lakeside stage after losing to Dennis Harbour in the first round last year in a match that he himself felt he should have won and had in the bag for the experience of Harbour booked him a place in the second round one hundred and Sean Greatbatch in what is his third match at this championship like James yet to 16. win on the stage he's gone out in the past to Ted Hankey and to Colin Monk so no disgrace there. No, he hasn't had much luck with the draws, has he? But if you're going to win a title, you're going to have to beat everybody sooner or later. Both players will feel they have an excellent chance of a berth in round two. It's all about who settles first. And that will help Sean Greatback settle. Good reply. Good reply. Yeah, it's a handy leave, 120. One hundred. James require one hundred and twenty. So Shanghai for the opening leg for James Wade. Shanghai in the twenties needs a treble. And tops for the first leg. Aim Sean for the first leg. James Wade. How about that then? Second leg, Sean to throw first. What a start. So James Wade, a 120 finish to take the opening leg. What an answer! <laughs> Often the players will inspire each other, and they will we will respond appropriately. 78. And I think Sean Greatbatch, one of those players that whatever James does on that hockey, he won't be phased, he won't be put off by his opponent. I think a wry smile there with the second arc not hitting the treble. Well, he did find it funny. Um, <laughs> it didn't miss by that much, but uh, evidently something went wrong when he released it. 
Probably a little bit of a slip. Maybe, 60. Maybe with Sean Greatbatch having hit that nine data in front of the live TV cameras, every time he's hit four trebles, maybe in that back of his mind he's thinking, well, he could be another one. Well, I suppose you're right. 123. But uh, I don't know that I'd be laughing if, uh, <laughs> if I went <laughs> off on that. Thirty. Sean Uriquan, 98. Well, Sean Grobach comfortably in control of this leg. Treble 20. We'll now go double 16 for a 98 checkout. 66. Just misses. Yeah, it would have been a 12 dart leg as well. And uh, no answer from James Wade in this leg. 60. Sean Uriquan, 32. So double 16 to level it up. James Shaw to the second leg. Short right back. Third leg, James to throw first. Well, no messing about with either player. Finding their range on the trebles and the doubles in the early stages. 58. George Noble, our referee this afternoon. The pup, they call him. Is he still a youngster, I think? Well, I'm not sure. Maybe 16. in dog years. 61. Bit of a lull 41. here, this third leg. It's all gone very, very quiet. Need someone just to raise the tempo a little bit. That'll 121. James right back in. He's not happy, though. Well, he had a good line, he, he saw it in, and it just didn't execute, so uh, he did on the third, though, so he'll be happy with that. Oh, great darts, that leaves 128. An outshot that can be done. 81. Sean, you require 128. So, treble 18 for the first start for Sean Greatbatch. Well, he's gone 20s and not left to finish. Well, percentage-wise, it's no different to go 20s or 18s. I know it, it seems to make more sense to go 18s, but you either have to get your first dart or your second dart. He chose the first. It's a 20 now for the bull. Bullseye for 2-1 to hold his throw as well. He wants to make sure it's, it's blocking. It's up, bent up to the left. He's not made it easy at all. Tried to lob it in oh, over yeah. and just didn't get it to, sure, get to the target. Uh, good line, but no weight. 10. 20. Well, a, a squandered break opportunity. 15. Wow. 16. <laughs> That's a little odd. He wanted seven for double top, and he uh, overthrew. Well, at least he can smile about it. 31 for this. Probably a 15 for a double eight. He's not the calmest of people on the hockey, is well. James Wade. His family keeping stiller than he is. Game <laughs> shot. Well, he composed himself well. You can jig about on the hockey as much Game as you on. like if you hit the doubles. And James Wade eventually found himself with the right target. 57. Well, I was pretty sure he wasn't going to stay at the 7 for double 12 there after the first turn. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have to have a bit of a laugh and recompose yourself. You have three darts 44. in each turn, and uh, you can do anything the first dart and still come back. And it's anything to help you just settle down up on the stage as well, if you can have a laugh and a joke to yourself. And if it does work for you, 60. all to be encouraged.
Oh, mind you, he could have hit a, a treble 16 there, and they wouldn't have been laughing, because that would have been a bust. 100. James Wade's sister. She likes that. Ninety-two. Well, Sean making effective use of the 18s. James switching about all over the 45. board and failing to find the treble. Obviously blocked the treble 20 bed with his first up. Ninety-two. And another treble 18 for James uh, for Sean Great Batch. One hundred and forty. Well, he's maintaining the pressure on Sean. But, uh, still in Sean's control. He has six starts. From 200, James not yet on a finish. Needs a treble here, gets 100. it. Just looking for a 140 or a 132, James. He'll be disappointed if he doesn't have this treble. 45. Sure you require one. He'll certainly be disappointed to stray into the... Big fat five zone. Trouble 16 maybe for Sean Greatbatch here. Can't finish this time round. 52. Well, it actually worked James out okay for James. Uh, it's a nice little out shot. Needs to start with the 20s. Could end up with the ball if he hits this treble 19. So that's 88 for this start. So it's treble 16. Or treble 20. He's having a think about it. Yeah, he's thinking I should have hit it. 87. <laughs> Sean, you require 48. And he will be if Sean Greatbatch checks out here. Double 16. Just needs to move along the hockey. He's blocked part of the bed. Oh. James nice Sean adjustment. Fourth leg. Sean Greatbatch. Fifth leg, James to Roy first. Well, we said it was too close to call this match. And there really is nothing to separate these two at the moment. Well, uh, we haven't had any breaks of throw yet, so... Um, James in a good position here, I suppose. And you could also look at it that if Sean could get a break here and take the set, that he'd be in a very good position for the match. 60. Needs to score higher than that to break the throw, though. Or hope your opponent slips up. James Wade showing little signs in 100. these early stages. Of slipping up. Well, he's used the 18s, the 19s, but he's scoring, and that's the main thing. Never be afraid to switch around. 140. Mind you, 92s and 94s aren't going to do much against 140s. 140. Good reply. Just what Sean Greatbatch needed. 130. Oh, right down to 41. See the angle of Sean Greatbatch's darts. Finding the range. 105. James and leaving himself a nice finish, one. but only if James Wade slips up here. A 20 with a first dart. And not for the first time, a loose dart when he approaches the checkout. Well, they won't think it's funny if he doesn't get it. Double eight. One dart at it for the set. James Charles in the first set. James Wade. I'm starting to think it's funny. <laughs> well, he'll be laughing. Second set, first leg, Sean to throw first. He'll be laughing all the Game way on. to the bank if he keeps jigging around, making the odd slip, and punishing with the last dart. But 100 a great response from Sean because it's so easy to get irritated when your opponent keeps making slip-ups, big errors, and getting away with it. Uh, it really can drive you nuts as a player. But uh, Sean... Standing in tall. He won't care what James Wade is doing and what facial expressions he's coming up with on the hockey. Just steadily plays his own game. But 36. Touch of the, after the Lord Mayor's show, 
with that, 180 followed by a 36. 100. Wade's family, James Wade's family, he, he shakes his head, they clap their hands. Well, they don't really look man. like he won the first set, do they? <laughs> After last year, they're going to wait till his three sets are won. <laughs> Experience counts for a lot, whether you're up on the stage or cheering on from the galleries. He's going to wear himself out if he keeps moving that far. 41. That could be another in the leg. 140. But a good score, nonetheless without being a maximum. Sean, of course, does 100. have the advantage of the throw. Sean, he has six. And he has six darts for this 99. 80 left, be 20s. He'll be happy just to leave double top. 59. No oh. shot here. 175. And there have been no breaks of throw in this match. And uh, this leg looking to continue that trend. 59. Sean, you require 40. James Shaw, the first leg. Sean Breakdown. Second leg, James to throw first. And still no break of the throw. And the averages for the match show that even though Sean Great Batch is a set down, he's actually scoring higher than his opponents uh, in the game. In both cases, the beginning of the legs and the overall. But helped, of course, Sean Great Batch by the fact he's thrown two 180s in the match so far. Has been hitting some big shots, but it's Wade with the checkouts and Wade with the 46. stats that really matter. The fact that he's taken the first set. Well, I think that the case here is that uh, Sean's been more consistent, but James has played very well on the legs he started. And that's Easy three. It's very difficult to beat someone if they do that. No matter how much better your average might be. 57. I was talking to James Wade and to Tony West, and they were saying that really in darts, it, it doesn't matter when you haven't got the throw. It doesn't 60. matter what you do if your opponent is is starting well and finding the big scores. There's nothing you can do to stop yourself going down in the leg. You just have to hold your throw all the time. Yeah, when, when you're playing against the throw, you're always hoping for a 12 dart, really, 12 dart game. That generally will get you a break. But that's quite good darts. And you won't get too many in a, in a match normally. 121. Not quite sure why James Wade keeps turning away from the board when he's leaving himself the possibility for a checkout or for a 180. 83, James require 156. Phil puts himself off sometimes. 156 for the leg, though. Needs another treble 20. Hasn't quite got it, but he'll stay up at the top. 100. Yep. There's Blood. nothing Sean can do. Well, he can hit a 180. That would certainly put a scare in. 130. Not bad. James require 56. Good last start, but 16 for tops for the leg for James Wade. James Shards in his second leg. James Wade. Third leg, Sean to throw first. And Game still on. still the match goes with throw. 78. James Wade just has not played well against the throw. And he's had every opportunity to break this uh, 
Sean hasn't had a good start here. Only at 363 after six. Doing better now, though. 100. Maybe not as well as he wants. Yes, I think James Wade knows it as well. He's had a chance, as you say, John, in this leg. 100. Not completely out of it, though. Look at the number of darts there taken to finish the legs. And James Wade has been fairly consistent throughout. It, it just shows you when you've had the throw, he's been able to finish off the leg and, and Sean as well. 60, Sean, you require 126. So 126 for Sean Great Batch needs the treble 19, gets it. Bullseye. 95. Way off. Well, he has time. I don't know why he rushed it, but uh, he has uh, a lot of time, really. Still a treble required to get James to a finish. Not a treble five. Sean, you require 31. It's a 15 for a double eight. Fifteen. Not finding the inside of the wire on that occasion. And James Wade still way back though. Sweaty hands off on the Oki. Seemed to work. One hundred and forty. You can say that. Sean requires sixteen. A lot of pressure on this double. It's double four. Needs this one, you feel. No score. Well, he pulled it severely. James will require 46. James Wade must be very excited at this break opportunity. We saw Debbie great batch there just wincing. She'll wince even more if James Wade can get this check out. Well, he double wanted 18. the six. He doesn't like it, though. Well, no, he wanted the six, and he, he slipped down into the ten. It's still a double, double 18, a good one. Bends the wire on the first. And that is a good marker. Same. Well, he, he, he missed it. Sean, you <laughs> he missed the other dirt, I think. So another chance for Sean Great Batch. His fifth attempt at a double. It falls again. Game shot. <laughs> Good break, man. Now anyone will think that Debbie was a bit relieved there. Four play. James to throw first. Game on. Well, James Wade had the opportunities in that leg. Now needs to put it to the back 97. of his mind. And take advantage when he has the throw. Well, he, he certainly has had his problems going for a single. That's three times in a match he's missed a single he intended. 83. And that's just rushing the shot. It's not a matter of skill. James Wade still only 19 years old still a very much a youngster in this sport but a big big talent for the future Sean great batch will slowly make his way back from the hockey there I think he's trying to slow James down just a little bit 85 any form of gamesmanship like that well, is okay yeah. it's uh, who's gonna rush him six foot five inches He's a big lad. 96. <laughs> 140. Well, the gamesmanship, if Sean is just plodding a bit, is not working. But a 180 here will put some big pressure on. 140. James requires 79. So 20 for double top for James Wade to make it 2 2. 39. Sean, you Realistic chance here for Sean. It's four 18s in ball. You make it sound so simple. Treble needed. It seems it when it goes, but. Uh, 54. He'll be disappointed. James, you require 40. Well, three darts at it for James Wade. Good marker. Aim shot to the full flag. James Wilde. 
And that it proved to be. Fifth player, Sean Dufroy first. Game on. See the angle of the dart straight into the middle of the bed there. There really is nothing to separate these two. One hundred and a good start. One hundred. Trying to keep himself in with a chance to steal the set and go up 2 0. James Wade. 100. Great batch, not showing any signs of pressure, really. Handling it well. Of course, a very important leg for Great Batch. 41. It's a very important leg in the context of the match. Yes, this will make that'll make him feel better, that 41 ahead of him. Then again, sometimes you try and capitalize too hard. You see a guy do that, and you think, oh, I need to get a 180, 140, and you get a little too excited about it. Put too much pressure on yourself. 82. Well, James Wade having to switch again. Won't be happy with his form in this particular leg. 81. Well, Sean Wade again, 139. and not leaving himself on a finish, James Wade, but Sean Greatbatch has a chance for the set here. Six starts at 139. We'll drop down to 19s now. 47. Well, he'll be disappointed to only get the 92. It's not uh, as easy as, say, 70. <laughs> Still some work to do to finish from 92. James Wade won't go for a 180 here. Maybe treble 15 or treble 13? 171. Pick an odd number. Sean Dewey won 92. So now great pressure on this. Needs the ball to start. Well, he went to Tricky Wickers. Now he must hit a triple. Double 12 Stop. for the set. Well, once again, way off target. James Wade. And James Wade punishes. Given the chance. And first he stormed first it. Leg, James to throw first. Game on. Well, that was the first break of the match, and that's the difference. That's why it's two sets to nil rather than one one. A very even match. Great batch unfortunate to be down two nil in sets. Sean Greatbatch needs to fight back here. 140. And that's a good start, but nothing to split these two. 100. And you look at the averages of the match, Sean Greatbatch starting off brilliantly with his first nine darts. 60. But then James is pegging him back all the way through the legs. 125. Must be getting a bit frustrated. Hasn't been that much outplayed at all. 38. And then a bounce out. Just, you know, it's a cruel game. Right in the corner of that treble 18 bed. First bounce out of the match at a time that Sean Greatbatch could easily have done without it. 140. And that's punishing darts. Bounce out, followed by an opponent's 140. Sean Greatbatch way back in this leg. 99. James requires 76. Well, that's 71, treble 13. Well, they went treble 17 for double 10. It's 54 left. 36. Sean, you require 164. Well, the finish is on for Sean Greatbatch, and what a finish it would be, but find the range with his first start again. 55, James, you require 40. 
Double top then. James Yard at the first leg. James Wade. James Wade's Second in again. Short to throw first. Game on. You have to say from here, two sets up and a leg to the good in the third set, John. James Wade won. looks a very good bet for the third round from this position. Uh, for the second round, I should say. Sixty. Well, I guess the only thing he could fault Great Batch here is uh, he hasn't been able to break Wade, so... You know, you're not going to win, especially if you do give up breaks. Only the one, but what a difference. 100. So you don't get much of a chance in this championship. And when you do, when it does present itself, you really have to take it. 60. That's just what James Wade has done so far. 96. Seems to have lost concentration. 30. You can't afford to do that because anything can happen in this game. If you throw a 180 or even two trebles after a bad first start, things could switch around. It's a very short Easy format. Five. Getting down to the double is really the easy part. It's finding the double where the pressure lies. 57. James, you require 160. It's two treble 20s. He'll be happy with the 140. 100. Well, even 100. Bit of a shrug, but he knows he's back. 58. James, you require 60. So 20 for tops. It's a good first start. If he can slide it over the top, too high. Too 20. wide. Sean, you require 132. Well, he should go bulls, but he didn't. Uh, 92. Well, that's treble 19 for bull again. 92. James, you require 40. So uh, another three darts at double top for a two legs to nil lead. Double 10 it is. One dart to do it. James Shaw in the second leg. James White. And a big thumbs up to his family in the crowd. Yeah, just when Sean James to throw first. Game yeah. on. It's always a tease when a guy starts with a double and he hits it the third one because you're just about to think you're going to get a shot. So it's a heartbreaking experience for Sean Great Batch. James Wade almost playing to the crowd. But it has to be stressed that some of the showboating we saw from him in his first round match at last year's championship has not been in evidence this year. I think that's 85. benefited James Wade on the hockey. And he will be able to tone it down more as he goes. Or find a way to do the antics he wants to do, but in a controlled manner. Forty-five. Well, the end is inevitable for Sean Greatbatch if he keeps hitting forty-fives. 60. Well, but James is not happy with that. Well, after the disappointment of last year, he really just wants to get this done. 100. So, six darts minimum from 206. Just steady himself again. 100. The family can sense a victory is on the cards. Well, it is potentially three darts away. 97. James, you require 106. James looks to his family for inspiration once again. It's 106 for the match. Well, can't finish now. We'll stay with the 20s and maybe drop down to treble 15 now. 60. Good last up. 
probably should have started by looking at the board, hit the shot, and then look at the family. 58. James will require 40. But it's double top for the match. Come on, James, they say. James, sure. And the man, James Ray. And my, how they like that. The gladiator can at last showboat on the hockey. A convincing win for James Wade by three sets to nil. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we quickly come to the end of our very first match this afternoon. Two great talents from England. And as we always say, it's a cruel game, our game. You have a winner every match, you have a loser. We're just about to lose a young man that's well, he comes from a great, probably the senior darting family in this country. His mum plays for Wales, his wife's been a great county player, his father did, and he still himself, of course, is a great player. So, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to be back. Come on, put your hands together. Sure, great man. What can you say about the person on my right? Last year he came on this stage, Jack the lad, knew it all, gonna do it all, and within three hours he was saying to me in the hotel, I'll let you down. And I said, well, if you don't learn from tonight, then next year if you're back, no chance. I think he's learned. 3-0 win against a player of Sean's character and ability is something quite substantial. He's in the second round. The only problem, that means his mentor, uh, Mr. Jason Tame, standing up there, the scruffy one. We've got to have put up with him again. But this is the future of the sport, the young players like this young man. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, second round of the lakeside, James Wayne.